Hello everyone, this is Coach Will, and I just wanted to get you started off with today's workout. First thing we're gonna do is our warm up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up with a T-spine rotation. So we're just gonna be nice and loose, feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna rotate, and every time we rotate, we're gonna look over our shoulder. Basically, just whacking yourself as you open up your hips and your shoulders. We're gonna go five, six, seven. We're gonna get all the way to 20. Looking over your shoulder a little bit more every time. Turn that hip. And then just right there. Keep it out nice and easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to leg cradle. So we're gonna stand on one leg. You're gonna grab your leg, pull it up nice and tall, right? We're not gonna grab our foot, we're gonna just grab that ankle. So, whoa, gonna grab it up nice and tall. Two. We're gonna go all the way up to five on each leg. So this will be three. Three. Nice pull, try and get it flat. Five and five. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lunge. So how we wanna lunge so it's better for us as athletes and good people is we wanna make sure we're right here. We're gonna take a nice easy step. See how I have my hips stand underneath me? We're gonna come down and we're gonna squeeze up, and we're gonna step back. We're gonna put that other leg in front, it's right there, hips stand underneath. We're gonna come down, and we're gonna squeeze up. Right, but because we sit on our computers all day and our phones doing all our homework, we're gonna put our hands behind our back, and we're gonna take a step, we're gonna go down, and come up. We're gonna take a step, come down, and come up. Down, and come up. Right? Nice and easy. Squeezing those glutes, driving through the leg. One more each side. All right, you bring it back together and you shake it out. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands, shake them out, keeping your legs nice and straight. You're gonna come down, touch your toes if you can, walk your hands and your legs forward, and we're gonna go on what we call a long lunge. Hands underneath your chest, and you're gonna bring your leg way up here to the side, just like that, right? You're gonna put it back. Bring that other leg way up to the side. Trying to keep that back leg as straight as possible. Then you're gonna switch. Hold it for a second or two. Switch. Then we're gonna switch. That should be three. We're gonna go to four. legs back. We're going to walk ourselves up. Shake it out. Be nice and easy. Then we're going to turn around. We're going to do a nice easy side lunge. We're going to open up those hips. So we're going to sit there and we're going to go like this. We're going to take a nice easy step. Go back. Push our hips back and stretch. And come on out. Go this way. Push our hips back and stretch. This way. This way, this way, this way, one more each side, all right, now with this side lunge, it's really important to remember, we're not stepping and doing this, we're not turning our body at all, okay? When we take that step, we want to take a nice step, 
That foot can turn out just a little bit, and then we want to push our hips back. So from the side, if you look at it, right, when we take that step, we're stepping, still relatively straight. My hips go back, right? See, they're still underneath my body. Squeeze up and bring it back. Really important not to rotate or kind of let anything collapse. So next thing we do, nice, easy leg swing, right? So what we would do is we're just gonna start. We're just gonna swing our leg like this. Right? If you need to, you can hold on to something, a chair, a pole, maybe a lacrosse stick, right? And you just swing. So all you're trying to do is just swing and open. It doesn't have to be a crazy movement or anything else like that. So does that make sense? So if you have to, we'll come back here, right? And we'll just Hold on to something, swing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And all you're gonna do is just switch sides. Like I said, it could be a chair, it could be a deep hole, it could be a wall. You're just gonna be here nice and easy. And you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? We shake it out. Next thing we're gonna do is get the heart rate up before we start. We're gonna do a little bit of high knees. So what I like to do is just sit here, and we're just gonna bring our hands right here. And you start off like this. One, one. Just get used to it. As you get a little bit more comfortable, you're gonna go a little bit more. And then you're gonna start to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out, nice and warmed up. Then you take your hands, you put them right here, and you can start off nice and easy. You go one, one, two, two, little butt kickers. As you feel more comfortable, stretching them out. Notice how I'm not bending over to do it. Stay nice and tall so that when I get going full speed, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then you shake it out. Now we're going to get ready for the workout. All right, it's time for another fantastic workout. What we're going to do right now is we're going to do a tricep with controlled jumps. Then we're going to do what some of you might call a burpee, but we're going to have a little bit more control with it. And then we're gonna do what we call a four point shoulder tap. That's gonna work on rotary stability. That's magic words for keeping your core strong. So when we talk about controlled jumps, some of you have done box jumps before and some of you guys do all kinds of things. But lots of times when we see our athletes, we see them kind of load like this. We see them jump when we kind of see them land like this. We see them land heavy footed or when they jump, they tuck really high. The whole point is to get in an athletic stance, right, which is about hip width or armpit width apart, right? You can have a slight bend to your toes out, but we don't want to be some kind of crazy duck, right? And we certainly don't want to collapse. So what we want to do is we want to be loaded, right? We can take our hands, and we come back, and we jump, and we land nice and soft, right? So we're here, and we jump, and we land, and we jump, and we land, and we jump, and we land. That's three. Four, five. I'm landing the same exact way I take off, right? I'm getting full extension. Six, seven, eight. All right? Shake it down. There's no need to be crazy. It's not about how high we jump quite yet, as much as the fact that what we're doing is we're loading, hinge, right? My butt goes back. I'm not flat footed when I jump. I load and I transfer through, right? I come up, all those calf raises. We try and jump as high as we can. Does that make sense? Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a burpee or a controlled up down. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna come down, kick our feet back, nice, easy, push up, boom, and explode. We're gonna come down. Kick our feet back, explode up, boom. 
right there. We're going to come down, get our feet back, push up, boom. That's three. Come down, shoot our feet back into a nice soft plank. Come down, pop up, boom. Four. Come down, get our feet back right here. Pop up, boom. Five. Down, get our feet back. Pop up, six. Come down, get your feet back. Come down, pop up, seven. Right here, come down, get your feet back. Right here, push up, boom, eight. Shake it out, nice and easy. Get your heart rate up just a little bit. Next thing you're gonna do is a four point stance. So we talk about core, planks and sit-ups and crunches and all that stuff, it's great. But what we want to think about is if you cut your head off, your arms off, and your legs off, all this is core. How it rotates, how it acts. So if we're in this position, it's called a six-point stance. Two hands, two knees, two toes. We're going to go to the four-point stance, which means we're going to take the knees or the kickstands out. And know that this shoulder over here, your left one, passes your right hip behind you. Right one goes to your left. So when we take the knees out, and we go tap, 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 nice and flat. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. You want to be really cool. We go seven and hold it. Bring it back down. Seven. Hold it. Bring it back down. Eight. And eight. Relax. What you'll notice is not a big movement. Some of you are going to have the tendency to want to use your shoulders and your quads. So you'll look like this when you do it. Your parents will notice. You'll be like, oh, oh, doing this. Resist that habit. You want to keep your arms underneath your chest like you're doing a push-up. And your thighs want to be right underneath your hips. Right? So we want to have that kind of control. Hopefully that makes sense, everyone. We're going to come up. Shake it out for a second. Get ready to do those control jumps again. So remember, we set our feet up. So they're basically about hip width, arm width, width apart. We kind of Think about this, if you've ever been skiing, we're going to long jump, we're going to shoot back, pop up, shoot back, pop up, shoot back, jump up for three, shoot back, jump up for four, boom, jump up for five, boom, jump up for six, boom, jump up for seven, boom, jump up for eight. Shake it out. That arm movement is just a way for you to load your hips back because that's really your power source, right? Quads look good, but your booty, your hamstrings, and your lats give you all your athletic power and actually make for a better looking human, male or female, as long as they're developed. Next thing we're gonna do is that burpee or controlled up down. We're gonna be here, keep your feet back, Come down, pop up, boom, one. Come down, kick your feet back, right here, pop up, boom, two. Come down, kick your feet back, come down into a push up, and then boom, three. Come down, kick your feet back, go down, pop up, four. Down, kick your feet back, come down, pop up, five. Come down, kick your feet back, come down, pop up, six. Come down, kick your feet back, right here, pop up, seven. Come down, kick your feet back, go to the nice and push up, pop up for eight. Shake it out. Nice and easy. 
we're going to come back to that four point shoulder tap we we're just doing. Start right here. As you can see, my arms are underneath my shoulder's chest. My hips are not here or laying here, nice and tight. So we're going to start off. We're going to go one, one. And if you feel it's too easy, just make a circle. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And we go back the other way. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and then ten, and then ten. And then just walk yourself up, shake it out, and get ready for the next set. Our next part of our workout, we're gonna do what's called a quad set. We're gonna do split lunges, which means we're gonna get in that good lunge position we learned the other day. We're gonna put our foot back, our other foot here, we're going to be underneath our body, and at this point in time, all we're going to do is go up and down. We're not going to move our legs, we're not going to bring them together, we're just going to go up and down. We're going to do eight on one leg, switch sides, and we're going to do eight on the other, right? So, let's get ready, because we know that we keep our hips underneath us as an athlete, right? We'll be okay. So put your foot here, your other foot back up here. You should have your back heel up nice and tall. Torso stays nice and tall. We go down, we squeeze up. We go down, we squeeze up. Squeezing all this, everything gets squozen when we go up. Come down, squeeze up. Go down, squeeze up. Go down, squeeze up. Go down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. We stand up, we shake it out. We move it so our other leg is forward. We turn that position nice and easy. We're here, we get ourselves set up, that back leg's nice and tall. Hips stay underneath our torso. We wanna go down and squeeze up. We wanna go down and squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. My knee is not bouncing off the ground. And squeeze up. We go down and squeeze up. We go down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. We go down and we squeeze up. So that's eight on each leg, shake it out. Hey, for some people you're gonna start with that first eight and you're gonna do lunges correctly and that's gonna be really, really hard. For other people, you have been doing lunges well or you have the leg strength, and what you're gonna do then is you can hold a bag of flour, even if you have dumbbells, you can hold them in each hand, but we don't wanna add load, that's weight, if we have to sacrifice our form. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our chest, and that connection our chest and our shoulders have to our hips, for the exercise we call tabletops. So we come down to the ground, we keep our feet underneath us, like we're gonna play crab soccer from the fourth grade, Hands behind us, you can turn your fingers this way, sideways, you can turn them in and out, whatever feels comfortable to you. All right, we're gonna squeeze up, nice and tall, relax your head, come down. Shoulders to We don't shrink in, we keep our chest nice and proud, we're gonna squeeze up and come down. Drive through the floor with both your hands and your feet, squeeze up, and we're gonna come down. Nice, proud chest, squeeze up. We're gonna come down and squeeze up. And we're gonna come down. All right? Since we're down here and we understand that building speed and power and control of our lower body and everything else involves our hamstrings, we're gonna go back to the isometric hold. I brought my chair back out. Some of you may use a table or someone in your family has an exercise ball or a couch. Anything works as long as you can drive your heels into it. So we're gonna come here. Put your heels right here on the chair, got a nice 90 degree angle. I like to put my hands back here, right? We do so much leaning forward or hunching. I would like to take your hands 
Palms facing the sky, put them flat up here like in that Y stretch. Dig your feet in and squeeze up and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna relax. Roll this way. Next thing we're gonna do is push ups. Push ups are great. If we do push ups well, right? What it does is help build up that core again, helps build up our shoulder, our tricep, and if you actually create total body tension, it's a great total body strength exercise, as long as what we do is do it well. So what I mean by doing it well is, we saw the other day, we're gonna start at the bottom, so with our hands out, feet close together makes it hard, if you need to widen them out, that makes it easier. You can go right here, keep your feet together, bring it in, squeeze up, that's one, we come down, bring it in, two, we come down, squeeze it in, three, we come down, four, we come down, five, we squeeze it up, down, notice my arms stay tight to my body, they're not way out here, or doing this, they're right here nice and tight, we squeeze up, that's five, Squeeze up, six, squeeze up, squeeze up, that's eight, squeeze up, that's nine, we squeeze up, we come back down, and that's ten, we shake it out. I understand that a lot of people are going to be like, I don't understand why I start at the top or at the bottom. Why can't I start at the top? And this is how I do it in my gym or whatever place you go. Well, the reason we start from the bottom is most people have some ability to start at the top and then they go somewhere before they just kind of collapse, right? And this, as you've all seen it in practice, I'll show you this new, this is what we see at all new sporting events. For the most part, is something that looks like this, right? Or the weird worm. Right? That's not a push-up. Right? I'm not sure what it is, but it's not a push-up. So we're going to start from the bottom. We're going to come all the way up. And slowly but surely, we'll take that pause at the bottom out. And if you can hover when we do these, then hover. But hovering means hovering. It doesn't mean hovering up here. It's not a push-up. Right? That's just a partial plank. Cool. Let's go ahead and stand up. Let's get back in those split lunges. Once again, if you think about it, we're going to be here, we're going to put that leg out in front, right, put the other leg here, hips stay underneath us, hands by your side, you can put them behind your back, if you're already strong enough, you can hold the weight here, you can hold some weights here, right, but we're just going to come straight down and squeeze straight up, come down and squeeze up, come down and squeeze up, down, and squeeze up, down, and squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. Stand up and shake it out. You'll notice my knee is touching the ground. What it's not doing is banging against the ground. Remember, your knee, kneecap, the patella, is not a trampoline, neither is your floor, right? So. It can hover just above the ground. It can gently kiss the ground. What it can't do is smash against the ground. So next thing you do is you tilt that other leg forward, put that other leg back. It'll be nice and tall, right? There you go. Maybe get a better side view. And I'm really just going down and squeezing up. Right? I'm going down and squeezing up. Now let's say you don't have enough control. To go all the way down. This is okay. I'd rather take a partial when it comes to lunging and a partial done correctly than I would take a poor full range of motion. So we'll go down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. That's four, down, squeeze up is five, down, squeeze up is six, down, squeeze up is seven, down, Squeeze up as eight. All right, shake it out. 
It's okay to take a couple seconds between each phase of exercise. Like I said, it's a quad set. So we're going through four exercises, and just keep repeating them for three rounds. Next thing we're gonna do is tabletops. We do tabletops again. We're really doing it because we wanna help open up that connection between our shoulders, between our back and our hips. So we plant our feet. Once again, like we're getting ready to do some crap soccer. Turn your hands, I had my hands out like this last time. I'm gonna turn my hands this way this time. Doesn't matter, it's not good or bad, it just is. So we're gonna squeeze up all the way through our shoulders. Come back down, nice proud chest. Squeeze up. Come down. Squeeze up. And down, that's three. Big squeeze up. That's down. Big squeeze up. And that's five. Makes sense? Nice and perfect. Next thing you do, hamstring hip bridge. Come back here. Take your heels into your chair. Once again, I like to either put my hands out to the side or hands up here, palms up. That way my shoulders can open up. Dig your heels into the ground, right? And we're gonna drive those heels in and squeeze our glutes up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go ahead and relax. Come on back around. This time we're gonna do some push-ups. We're gonna do them nice and easy hands. Once again, if we're doing our push-ups, we don't want our hands up here. If you ever see your hands by your face when you're doing a bench press or push-up, they're in the wrong spot. Your hands want to be here. That is actually where your chest is at. Preferably here when you're doing push-ups. Right? So I bring them straight down. They're just where my pecs are, the nipple line. Come back here. Now, for those of you that are strong enough, we're not gonna put our arms out anymore, we're gonna hover. But if you have to put your arms out, still put your arms out. So we're gonna push up, and we're gonna come down. Push up, and we're gonna come down. Push up, and we're gonna come down, that's three. Push up, we're gonna come down, that's four. Push up, we're gonna come down, Five, push up. We're gonna come down. That's six, push up. We're gonna come down. Seven, push up. We're gonna come down. That's eight, push up. We're gonna come down. That's nine, push up. We're gonna come down. That's ten. Nice. So that's the version. So instead of putting our arms out, and then reloading, we kept tension on it the whole time. One's not better or worse than the other, it just simply is. Okay, so as you get stronger, practice adding in a couple of hovers in there, and we can go from there. Make sense? Perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that straight lunge, split lunge. This time I'm gonna show you from the front, because what we don't wanna have happen is we don't want that leg to collapse in and out when we're doing that lunge, just like we don't want it to happen when we're running or squatting. So if we set ourselves up, we're in that nice quality straight position, we're nice and tall, we're gonna squeeze down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up, that's three, down, squeeze up, that's four, down, squeeze up, that's five, down, squeeze up to six, down, squeeze up to seven, down, squeeze up to eight. Does that make sense? You notice my knee didn't cave in or out? That's a, a bad sign when we're being an athlete. It happens, but usually when we get a lot of vulgus collapse, which is when the knee goes in, we usually see a lot of surgeries afterwards that end in a CL of some sort. So let's put our other leg forward. We're nice and tall. Make sure we're set up and feel balanced. We're gonna come down. We're gonna squeeze up. We're gonna come down. We're gonna squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. 
down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. Nice. Shake it out. Like I said, as time goes on and you repeat these workouts, when your body got a solid base, feel free to add load. Just don't add load or add weight at the sacrifice of quality form. Does that make sense? Perfect. Let's get ready to do our tabletops. So we're right here. Now maybe what's happened is you feel comfortable enough, your goal is to ultimately really, 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 really try and squeeze your hips as high as possible. So you want to squeeze up, 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 and come down. Squeeze up, 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 down. Squeeze up, that's three. Come down. Squeeze up, that's four. Squeeze up, that's five. Nice and easy. Shake it out, helps open up your shoulders. That is the precursor to what we call a back bend. That's when you put your hands behind your back, you push yourself into a nice tall bridge. We'll get there as time goes. Put your heels right here nice in the chair. Then those hamstring hip bridges. Arms out here, here somewhere in this range. Dig your heels in. Get ready, squeeze up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Shake it out if we're cramping up. Might happen to you at the very beginning. Your hamstrings just may not used to be contracted that way. Next thing we're gonna do, do some nice easy push-ups. Okay? This is your choice. I'll do half of them, the arms out, and the other half hovering. Whatever one works better for you. So arms are out, we bring them in, we squeeze up. That's one. We put them out, we bring them in, we squeeze up. Two. Push them out, bring them in, that's up. Three. Squeeze out, push them in. That's four. Squeeze out, push them in. That's five. Now I'm gonna do my last five hovering. So we go down, we squeeze up. We go down, we squeeze up. That's seven. Down, we squeeze up. That's eight. We go down, we squeeze up. That's nine. We go down, we squeeze up. That's 10, we go all the way down to finish. Come on up, shake it out. Hopefully that's a great workout. Like I said, go with no load or no weight at first. You're really good with your form. And then what you want to do is add weight or load. Whether that's a sandbag, a bucket, a can of paint, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or a bar. Get really good with the movement first. And then worry about loading in second. All right? Have a great day.